the calculator specialist. If you have ever driven to Las Vegas, you've probably noticed a peculiar road sign. It's just outside Baker, California, and it points the way to Zyzix Mineral Springs. That is Z-Z-Y-Z-X. Have you seen it? Zyzix. Whatever it was, it is not anymore, and here's Jim Brown to tell us how come. Well, Kelly, the word Zyzex was coined by radio evangelist Curtis Howe Springer, who said he wanted to have the last word in the English language. And it was the name he gave to a health resort he started building in 1944 on land obtained on the basis of mining claims. But the government says the last of the old medicine men did everything but mine. It was hard to hear of Curtis Howe Springer and his Zyzex Mineral Springs. For decades, his religious broadcasts on dozens of radio stations extolled what Springer had to offer in the middle of the Mojave Desert. We have this lovely 12,000-acre uh, estate here that belongs to God. If you want to come and stay, if we have room for you, you'll come and stay for a month. If at the end of that month's time you have received any results that you think are worthwhile and you're capable to do so, we would appreciate whatever you care to contribute. If you don't, you owe us nothing. And if you'd like to have a package of Varana Green Herb Tea, and there's no charge at all if you get results, a contribution will help. If it doesn't, you owe us nothing. For 30 years, Curtis Springer operated his Zyzex Mineral Springs selling health, religion, and the Springer specialty, Andalusian herb tea. But then the troubles with the government over who owned the land finally caught up with him in 1974, and he was evicted. Now, two years later, the buses rolling down the Boulevard of Dreams bring a different clientele representatives of seven campuses of the California State University and College System. The schools have formed the California Desert Studies Consortium and in an agreement with the U.S. Bureau of Land Management will use Zyzex as a desert research center. Here to study firsthand anthropology, archaeology, geology, geography, and biology. Each school to contribute $3,000 to the yearly $21,000 operating budget. The project is the creation of Cal State San Bernardino biology professor Dalton Harrington. For this kind of project, we will not ever develop a Taj Mahal type of operation. Uh, uh, a primitive setup is what we need, but uh, it has to be safe. By necessity of our limited budget, we'll take these buildings one by one and uh, eventually bring them all up to these standards. Yet with all of this uh building you have to do, bringing it up to standards, uh, it's still worth it. Oh, absolutely, yes. So we see tremendous potential in this operation for us and for this state. Harrington was explaining to representatives of the participating colleges about the potential of Zyzex when into the scene rolled its former owner, Curtis Howe Springer. As Harrington's group continued their meeting, Springer, nearby, was surrounded by reporters. The 80-year-old super squatter recalling the good old days. Well, we came in here and we, we fed a little over three quarters of a million free meals and uh, over a quarter of a million free beds. We let out the people to help them. We never took a penny from the county or the state or the federal government. My wife and I financed the whole project ourselves. And didn't leave it with a bill on its hand. Where did you get the money to finance that? Well, that's none of your business. Dr. Harrington was concerned about what Springer's appearance meant. Since the Zyzex founder was still fighting the eviction, despite charges of false advertising, misrepresentation, and unauthorized use of federal lands. Folks, would you please gather around just a moment? I want to talk to you just about two or three minutes, please. My difficulty is with the United States Land Office, not with you folks, because I have a documentary evidence in my car which I can show Dr. Harrington that I offered to give this property back to the government for university work way back in 1966 and they wouldn't take it. And God bless you, I'm a university man myself. I have my PhD in psychology. And nothing would please me more because I'm 80 years of age and I can't carry on too much longer. So nothing would please me more than to know that the $3 million approximately which we spent here building and operating for 30 years is going to be taken over by you splendid folks in university work striving to make us a better world in which to live. So therefore, with you folks, I'm with you 1 million percent. God bless you.
Thanks for the opportunity, Doctor. But I believe that property belongs to God, and whoever can, can do the best job for the greatest number of people over the greatest length of time should be the people to have it. But I'm going to keep my foot right in the door, and I'll fight till the hell freezes over or <laughs> till the last dog's hung. Well, according to the Bureau of Land Management, legally, hell has frozen over, the last dog has been hung, and Springer will never get Zizex back. Despite that big sign out at the main highway on the books, it is no longer known as Zizex, but has gone back to its original name of Soda Springs. Ellie? So we can't go to Zizex anymore. Okay, Jim. When we come back, we're going to go live with our minicam to a house in Compton that's being surrounded right now by sheriff's deputies where they have a suspect.